So here we have Shadow. We are going to be doing Shadow's Go Home video today. So it's going to have all of his commands in one video. That way you can refer to it when he comes home and you know how to do the commands, how to um, do them with him. And then when he comes home, I will show you how to do them, but this is just for reference. So I'm going to call him over to me. So sit is like this with your hand up. Kind of, what are you eating? What is that? Did you find a tree on the floor? So like I said, sit is up, like you're lifting their nose to the sky, good boy. And then down is kind of the opposite, so you're pressing their nose, telling them down to the floor. Good boy. Good boy. Do a couple more. I forgot I have treats in my pocket. Come. Down. Yes. Good boy. Sit. Yes. Down. Good boy. Down. Sometimes I will just point to the ground. Any kind of gesture down is down. Down. Yes, good boy. Sit. Yes. Sit. Sit. Good boy. And then we'll do one more of each, or a couple more downs, and then one of each down. All the way. Good boy. So you want to make sure when you're doing the down that they're fully laying on the ground. They don't have their back hunched or their butt up in the air when you're doing the down. So wait until, yes, good boy. Wait until he drops his back, then say, yes, good boy. Give him that reward. Down. Good boy. All the way down. Shadow. Down. Wait until his whole body drops. Yes. Good boy. Good down. Good boy. And that was Shadow sits and down. So we're going to move on. To the so in this clip, we are going to be doing Shadow's kennel and weight command. So I have the kennel right here. Some treats in my hand. So I'm going to take a treat. Take his nose. Kind of lure his nose around. Toss it and tell him kennel. Yes. Good boy. And do that same thing again once he comes out. Kennel. Good boy. Shut that door this time. Get another treat ready. Shut it. Shut the door. I'm not going to lock it just because I am going to open it right back up. I'm going to tell him, wait. Kind of in that firm tone of voice. Okay. Good boy. Good boy, Shadow. Good. Do that same thing. Kennel. And you don't always have to do the wait command each time you have him do kennel. Kennel. Just making it positive, making sure he enjoys it. It's kind of like a kennel game, so it's fun making the kennel a positive place for him to be. Wait. Okay. Good boy. Go ahead. Kennel. Wait. I do apologize for the other dog in the room. He is a little jealous because he can't see us, but he can hear us, so he's... Wants, wants some attention. Shadow? Okay. Good boy. Channel? Yes. Keeping it extra positive. So those positive marker words, you can give them some scratches and pets while he's in there. Wait. Ah. Uh -uh. Shut that door nicely. Don't be slamming that door back into his face, but just by nicely closing it if he comes to um, prematurely barge out. I just shut that door, make him wait again, and then open that back up. Okay. And then give him the release word. Okay. Come on. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Hey. Shh. Shh, 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 shh. Kennel. Yes. I'm not going to do the wait that time. Kennel. Just keeping it fun. I'm going to do a few more kennels before I do that weight again. Kennel. Making it positive when he goes in there. Shh, shh, shh. Kennel. Yes. Good. Good boy, Shadow. Kennel. Grab a couple more treats. Kennel. Good. 
Colonel. Colonel. Good boy. And I'll do one more wait. Wait. Okay. Okay. Come on. So I try and only say the command one time. Make them follow through. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Yes. Colonel. Do one more wait. Wait. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. And then always give them lots of pets. The kennel and wait games are really nice for them to learn to enjoy the kennel, learn to be okay and comfortable in that space, keeping it extra positive, making it a fun spot to be in. That way, no negativity is brought by the kennel. He's not always in there for long, long periods of time. Going in and out easy, quick, um, really helps them adapt to the kennel, get used to it, have a fun experience with the kennel, not always think of it as a bad place to think of it as a safe space. Good boy. Good boy. So in this clip, we are going to be doing Shadow's Place Command. So I'm going to show you how to go through that, how we um, have been teaching him, and how he's been learning the Place Command. So I have some treats in my hand. For the first couple times, I am going to put give him treats when he gets on the bed, just because he is still learning the place command. So I'm going to take those treats I have in my hand, show him that I got him some place. Yes, good place. Good place. Ah, uh ah. -uh. So tell him ah uh ah -uh, place. If he gets off the bed, telling him ah uh ah, -uh, picking him up, putting him right back on that bed, really helps him follow through and learn what it means. Place. So the object of the place command is for him to stay on that bed until you give the release word. Now, there's no um, telling him to stay, to wait, nothing like that. No hand signals. It's just the word place. Place. Good boy. Good boy, Shadow. Place. Ah, ah, ah. Police. Again, I do apologize for the other dog in the room. Now, when I go out of sight, of course, it's understandable for him to break command. Um, police. I try and remind him that he is still in the police command when I go out of sight by telling him police and then going out of sight. Now, I'm going to go over here quickly and then I'm going to go up, pet him, tell him he's being a good boy. Yes, keep my pets nice and calm. Don't go crazy with the pets just because you want him to follow through and not get him super riled up. Good boy. Good place. Just by giving him that positive praise, helping him through it, understand it. Walking around. Place. I'm going to go out of sight again, reminding him place. And I like to do things while they're in the place commands. Go in and out of rooms, things like that. Place. Just to kind of keep him distracted. Um, or not distracted. Keep them... Um, used to being able to be content on that bed by themselves. Now, as they get older, they can have um, long-term treats or toys on that bed, but when they first are babies, I like them to be able to stay content on the bed by themselves and not um, have to worry about having a toy or a treat while he's on that bed place. You can move that, you're good. No, you're good. Place. And of course, we love distractions walking in and out of the room because it gets them used to the distractions, used to different people. Um, a lot of people, ah, ah, 
uses the command for police when they have people coming to visit the house. Um, by putting them in this command, um, or putting them in the place, you can have people come in, get settled in before you release him, and have them go up and see them. After everything settles down, that way it's not all rambunctious. Okay. Giving him that release word. Okay. Might have to coax him off here. Come on. Come on. Come on. All the way up. Come on. Whee. Come on. There you go. Good boy. Okay. Help him come off the rest of the way. <laughs> I want him to make sure he knows that it's okay for him to come off. Good boy. Good boy, Shadow. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Give him lots of pets while he's on the ground as well. I'll have him do it a couple more times for you guys. Police. Yes, good boy. Giving him lots of praise, lots of treats. Now I'm going to make this one really quick. I don't want him to be on here for a long period of time. Okay. Now the duration can obviously um, grow with age, grow with practice. Um, but I try and keep the durations all different sorts. Come on. Come on. Put your foot down. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. I want him to know that he is not stuck on that bed. When I give him the release word, he can come off. So I want to make sure I make that clear to him and that he knows that that release word means he can come off. Place. Yes. Yes, good place. So obviously he's getting comfortable. He kind of gets up there, figures everything out. That's good. He'll lay down. They can do whatever on the place mat as long as they stay on it. So they can sit, lay down, spin around, jump if they really wanted, do somersaults. I don't really care as long as he stays on that place bed. Okay. I'm just going to kind of let him sit here for a little bit, see if he'll come off on his own. He really wants those treats that I put on the floor, so. Okay, good boy. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Yes. Yes, good. Good boy. Good boy, Shadow. Hey. Good boy. Good. Just give him, give him, gonna give him a treat. That's a good boy. But we're gonna end on that. That was a positive note. I wanna always end on a positive note. He was a very good boy.